And we're back. We were, we were on our way to Gronenfester. Not much we can do here. But I needed to visit it anyway. I, I think I'm going to visit all but one. And then hopefully that ambition to visit all the cities will pop up right before then. And then we can just jump into... Uh, jump into the last last city and then get the ambition immediately what do we have here a shepherd no thanks another shepherd what is this shocking we need to bring the blessings of Dovkul to this world uh, need some tools oh I'd love to get my hands on that but no uh, I think for most of the armor and even the weapons, as usual, we are gonna we're gonna pay the iron price for most of the weapons. As any good follower of Dovku would do. Cheers, lads. Let's do soles of our feet. That's only like three or four more cities, and then after this we'll take the battle standard mission. Grave digger, no brawlers are always nice, but what you got for us? Uh, uh, it's Stormark. Let's talk business. We paid more. I accept, but give me some time. I just want to see if that's one of the cities I haven't visited yet. Stormark, yes, it is. Okay, so I'm, I'm going that way anyway, so I'm quite happy to get paid to go there. Uh, let's see, grave digger, yep, yeah, nothing. Onward, men. Evening death comes. Now, we've got no money, so I'm going to be super disappointed because we're going to find a cultist or a witch hunter. Actually, uh, you guys happen to know, can you actually convert a witch hunter into a, into a cultist? some raiders how many is that five? Oh yes please let's make sure everybody's armor is is full up then we'll take these boys on what i am going to do is i'm going to make sure we have these two uh flails in the formation because there's just an outside chance that some of these guys are not going to be wearing helmets they obviously want to pop their heads open uh, you can convert all of the backgrounds. Good. I'm um, sorry, uh, Death Camp. We've already named our boys. We've named them Dove Cool's Chosen. Pike. Archie. Scary. Uh, two more flails and some nice armor. Oh yeah, get it boys. That, I'm happy he did that because then Griff sh should hopefully be able to stun him. Uh, one a bunch of badasses. Yeah, I can't believe you, you, you got a three-starred iron-lunged farmer. That's just amazing. Uh, it's this guy here, Leofric. Let's hope we can keep you alive. Cry, Kaba, you are using an axe, aren't you? This is actually a bit awkward because I need Griff to go there, but I sure as hell I'm not going to give myself height disadvantage. I'm just going to sit here for now and hopefully this guy will come down. Shield up in case this pikeman gets a height advantage shot on him. And then we got to we kind of have to maintain the line here. It's, it's honestly it's too risky to break the formation. Ah, oh, come on, Griff! Damn it! Padden not doing the thing yet, but he will. That's tempting because then I can flail this guy's head open, but. No, let's just be patient. Whoopsie, I should have moved in there. God damn it. 
Shot Union. Again, why I love this is why one of the reasons adrenaline is so good on my Huskulls. If I can manage to hit him with a shot. Whew, and he never got to take a shot with his pike. Mission accomplished, as far as I'm concerned. Ouch, Jesus. Please don't hit Master Stubbs. I'm gonna push here actually. Fuck, it doesn't work. Mm, Brigand Raider, please don't hit Master Stubbs. Dove Cool, keep us safe. Oh. That's terrifying. That's legit terrifying. Well struck, guess it all. I want to dagger this guy down. He's got very nice armor, as does this guy. How are we going to play this? Pie of 12, you've got a woodcutter's axe. And who else has a... Well, we're going to need loads, loads of uh, shots to get through that. You know, we're probably not going to end up getting through it. Let's rather surround these guys first. And then we'll leave that guy as the last one alive. Okay, but I know that's scary. But his turn is done. Come on! He's almost taking more damage than I like, but... At this point, we've got to just kill him. Yeah, th there goes his armor, but oh well, what can you do? It's this guy's armor that I'm really after. Ah! And that wasn't even an armor-piercing shot. That was just a regular shot, and it inflicted that wound. Pi of 12. You don't have any melee defense, so going to Woodcutter's Axe now. It's not worth it, because you'll just get hit hard. Ouch! Yeah, there you go. Master Stub's dead. That's the risk you take when you fight raiders, when your guys are still low level. <laughs> yeah, surround this guy, take his shit. Hmm. Let's just get ready to step in and surround the guy. Well struck, Jungian. Get him, boys, quickly. Let's hope he doesn't do too much damage before we take him down. I mean, on the plus side, we're going to have two uh, of these axes hitting a shield and a longsword. unlikely to have shield specialist this early on. Griff misses another one. Just getting ready with the old surround here. Pattern's actually wavering. That's interesting. Okay, I used puncture and it actually hit his shield. Hmm. God. Ouch! So our Raider boys need to get their shields out now. This is a risk I know, but it's worth it. If, if we can get this armor, I might even target his head. That's some pretty uh, substantial head armor. You lads just stay safe. Okay, good. We can keep him stun locked, hopefully. Yeah, he's done for now that he's surrounded. No problem. No problem at all. If Padden can just hit a fucking stab. Pi, don't you have. No, you don't have a dagger. Keep lashing. 
Because of the old cheeky punch. No. That, is that going to be enough to kill him? Probably. Oof, almost. There you go. Rip, master stubs. He died in the service of Dovkul, bringing glory to the cult. Sad. Uh, we're getting better armor all the time, though. And I mean, this early on in the campaign is always the most dangerous part uh, for anyone. Leo Frick, I think it's time for you to take your place on the front line. Good luck. Are you quick handing? You are quick handsy. Nice, another flail. Awesome. Just taking a look at the loadouts here. Nice, there's another pike. That's amazing. Let's take a look here. Okay, that, that's the perfect loadout for you. Kretar, Raider. We need more two-handed raiding weapons, but for the moment, you're okay, I suppose. Plus three there is good. Plus four there is good. Four there is good. Doesn't need Colossus, that's for sure. Um, adrenaline, no, he doesn't need adrenaline. What can I give him? Uh, Pathfinder? I actually don't know if Aspect of Darth Cool has a... Mm. Like in a situation like this where he's a raider, he doesn't really need... Colossus. Crippling Strikes doesn't really need. He won't really benefit from fast adaption using a two-handed weapon swinging once per turn. I'm tempted to give him Pathfinder because he's going to have footwork anyway. You know what? Let's give him Pathfinder. Because in a lot of situations, especially when there are ranged guys, that will give him the ability with footwork to be able to get away from whoever's holding him in place and sprint at, a, at an enemy archer. Sword Raider at level 4, all the Raiders take Brawny, which he needed evidently. Plus 2, 4, plus 3, yes, fatigue is a concern. Someone has to use that third flail, the question is who? Probably Yofrek, he's got the fatigue for it. Oh yeah, he was the cultist. Oh, damn it. Well, we've got a long, long way to go in this campaign yet. We're going to have plenty of chances still. It's super disappointing, but hey. What are you going to do? It's a very dangerous life, this. to Stromark. It is nice to know that we can take on those little groups of raiders relatively easily. I mean, we, we won two fights like that and we only lost one person. Come on, cultist. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, let's take the monk, only because I've had a lot of success with monks as as sergeants. He, this is awful. Yeah, we're going to replace him almost immediately. He doesn't fit in any way, really. Hit points, fine. He's got terrible fatigue. No, st oh god. Puke.
And yeah, but the main thing is you can convert them into into cultists. We're just having we're just gonna have him there as a placeholder, really. Uh, what do we not need here? We don't need these flails because we've got proper flails. We need at most we need seven spears. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these two can go. Don't need the spare pitchforks. Don't need that. It's a shield situation. Uh, we can hang on to two spares, I suppose. I'm gonna start collecting swords. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need seven swords. Oh god, we need supplies. We don't have supplies. Uh, I'd love to pick up some bargains here, but I'm just conscious of the fact that I need to start saving for the 2,000 gold. Okay, where do we still need to visit to finish our ambition? Never visited, never visited. It's only these two. So let's just see where the jobs that are here will take us. What have we got for us? Escort to where? Uh, 220, pay me more. I accept. Uh, Hemel. Hem Hem Hemelm. Where is Hemelm? Well, we're going there anyway, so I think we can take that. Can this guy repair? No, he can't. What's the other job? Good, a nice little one skull, bring back what's been stolen mission, we'll do that quick. Uh, no one's injured. Or the tracks are west. Man, I'm disappointed in that, uh, that monk. To be fair, the monks are usually pretty, pretty terrible. Two arms. Nah. And even if there is a necromancer on a one skull, if it's these guys plus necromancer, that's fine. You just tie them up with your front line and then have the back line or one of your flanking guys flank the necromancer, shoot him. No problem. I think everyone except Jungian can just um, end turn. No, we can actually get an attack off here. Oh, okay, the good. The Necromancer I used to struggle with as well, but it's not that difficult. You just gotta make sure you set the fight up properly. If you just run straight into the Necromancer and you allow your front line to get completely tied up, you're gonna have a very bad time. Uh, the, the difficulty of the Necromancer fight is tied almost entirely to how long it takes you to get into melee contact with the Necromancer. Seventy, sixty-five, seventy. Come on, Emmerich. Let's see, that guy scares me the most, but I can't really get a good shot at him. Five AP is not enough to use a woodcutter's axe. So. There you go, just, just pop that guy's head open. Like a rotten melon. Oh! Sounds so painful. Oh, God, I love flails. Ooh. Active in one turn. Kill him. Let's see here. So yeah, it's very rare for me to run so few archers, but that's kind of just part of the uh, the setup for this campaign. We're going to run very few archers, two at most. Guess the all. Oh, unlucky. I should have waited. Could have just broken his damn shield. Oh, look at that. Almost one shot him. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. 
shot. Mm. Fucking little buckter. There you go, get stunned, nerd. The last player on that round. Monk sucks. Oh yeah, the, the monk is fucking terrible, and monks generally are fucking terrible. <laughs> the only time I've had monks be any good is uh, when they get stars in fatigue, uh, ranged defense, and resolve, <laughs> and then they have a pretty high base resolve. If you get lucky with where they're, st they have to have stars in at least ranged defense and uh, resolve. They can be pretty good sergeants, especially in a in a campaign where you have wild men and brawlers who cause trouble in town because the the monk can talk them out of it. Well, look, look, make no mistake, we're gonna be replacing this uh, this monk as soon as we can. He's just terrible. Mace master plus two, plus four. God, yeah, I've got to go for hit points, I'm afraid. God, this is bad. 62 at level 4. Doesn't have much in the way of defense either. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to take shield expert. But I'll get brawny first, though. Free up some of that uh, fatigue. And hopefully we'll be getting some, some heavier armor soon. I'm not going to bother with any armor for this guy. He's just, or naming him, he's so terrible. Emmerich can be named. Who's next? So. Actually, it looks like we are all out of comments on the YouTube thread. This has been some new ones. Duck yours just commented. Thank you, Duck yours. Let's see. So I think you are next, Duck yours. Where's the comment? Uh, Two-handed X flying fledgling in the name of Dikers. Dikers, I'm afraid I can't really... Well, actually, you're a raider, so you could be a two-handed X raider. Yeah, fine. Bam. Let's check. Pi, I'm just checking the names here. Yep, Kazathor, Padden, Leofric, Griff, Kaber. I know, ignore him. He's terrible. Let's go make this little delivery. And complete the ambition on the way. And we're almost halfway to the 2000 gold we're going to need for the battle standard. Tools though. Mm. Come on, cultists. I'm going to hire Conrad just because he's almost guaranteed to be better than this horrible look at that stars and melee skill and there you go perfect uh what do i actually need i think i need another huskull which he'll just have to do i've only got two huskulls and eventually i'll need four i know you are terrible please kick rocks Conrad. Okay, so everybody from the thread has got a name here, I think. Let's see, show more. Button Fane, we got. Okay, cool, so I can start taking name requests from Twitch chat now. Death comes, uh, give me a name. Devgian, here you go. De Devgian. You're, you're a B team Huskull because you don't have range defense. But you'll do for now. <laughs> it's just a model. Shh. Okay, we can have a bit of a, a clearance sale as well here. Give 
Give me some tools. Too expensive. Uh, is there no work for us to do? All right, we have to finish this mission first. Also, we need to start exploring some of this darkness. That's an almost guaranteed source of uh, of chain mail. So what is it? What do we have here? A few poachers and some raiders. There'll be five raiders and two poachers. What what kind of state is our armor in? It's actually not in the kind of state that we can take these boys on reliably. I mean, again, we can beat them, but I worry that we will die. There's some caravan hands here who can help. If if these brigands, oh, we should have actually taken the fight there. In fact, let's hit them now. Oh, damn it. I was hoping the caravan hands would help, even if even if all they do is absorb uh, the shots from the bows. See, this sucks. Now we need to move forward to be able to lay some shots down on their little bowmen, but that means we give up height advantage. Let's see if they come to us. Oh, they do. Beautiful. So that guy should. These two should die in one or two shots because they're not wearing helmets. It's only little little cro little bows, but they do still hurt this early on. Okay. So this is our fight to win. Let's not do anything stupid. Ah. I only have one archer for the moment. We'll look to change that. Need you boys to wait because these guys need to move forward actually if we're gonna get shots off this this turn. See as much as I want to put Griff there so he can stun these guys. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna put him there. Putting someone in this spot is too risky because then this guy will go here. Which then puts the guy in this square surrounded by four enemies, which is just far too risky. actually need to maintain the line here except for Kava who needs to well, I'll tell you what Kava and Leofric will run at the archers and put pressure on them Padden you stay there come on pie of two the pie of twelve one shot here we go miss feck Seventy-six. Pierced hand. Awesome. It's ruining armor, but hey, what can you do? These dudes are still super dangerous, so we need to put as much damage down as we can, as quickly as we can. Ouchie. Woo. Oh, Jungian, let us down. Nice. Good hit, Griff. Uh, of no consequence, sorry. Not Griff. Great hitting there, Frick. And actually, I could have quick handed. Oh, but he doesn't have a, a radar weapon yet, a two handed weapon. See, putting putting pressure on the enemy archers is so effective. Even if it's because the AI spares us out. Ah. Oh, duck yours. Absolute monster. Come on, give us a headshot here. There we go. We can still salvage this guy's armor if we can kill him. That, we, that should be armor there. And I just gotta flail this guy's head in. In fact, both of these guys we can probably get. Oh, I should have stabbed there. Whoopsie. It's a risk. This guy's at least stunned, but this guy is double gripping that t tier 2 axe, which hurts like hell. keep chasing off the archers none will survive Dove cool demands more sacrifices
Well, well, that, 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 that was the turn now where his stun now ends. See, there, there was um, fast adaption doing work for us there. Kazathor doesn't have a dagger, so just surround him. Krutar. Big stab. Damn it. Oh! You piece of shit. Miss! Oh. God, I love that. Look at that. One shot in the head. Bam. Oh yeah, fast adaption in the late game is worthless, but um, because he's a dagger specialist, remember, he's going to be attacking three times per turn. So I would I would say a, a dagger specialist is somewhat of a special case. Come on. Just keep surrounding him. One more stab and he's gonna go down. I think we're gonna get two or two, maybe even three sets of chainmail out of this. Just beautiful. Ooh, pierced hand, that's what you want. Makes him less likely to hit you. It's a good haul, if we get him. We should. I'm, I'm confident we should. We didn't do a lot of damage to their armor. Come on. Get shit mixed. Destination fucked. Population that guy. Ooh. Don't you dare puncture. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm very glad they included the auto-loot function because I, I can't tell you how many times I would, at the end of a battle, just hit exit without even taking the loot. Um, on an offline campaign when I first started playing, I even um, got a legendary item and then just left it on the ground and left. Oh yeah, auto-loot. So if you forget to press loot all items and just leave, you don't lose all that stuff. I'm pretty sure I've got auto-loot turned on, gameplay. Oh, I don't have auto turned on. <laughs> that would have been <laughs> very, very embarrassing. Thanks for calling that out, uh, Vander Jar. So we got three sets of worn chain and a set of padded leather. Amaze balls, absolutely amazing. Uh, let's start handing out uh, all the worn mail. Beautiful. So th that's a nice little bump uh, in, in our power where everybody up front is wearing chain mail of some description. All the overall armor numbers are just creeping up. A bit slowly, admittedly, but it is getting up there finally. Okay, Sergeant Picasus. Resolve. God, yeah, we're gonna have to replace him. He's not gonna be that good. Okay, fortified mind, and also the fact that he doesn't have range defense. I mean, eventually he'll take an arrow to the face and and come over all dead. Also, the same problem with these raiders that don't have stars in melee defense. But it's important to just think of them as as placeholder guys. Until we get guys who have stars where we want them, and what I'll do is if I retire someone, like Pi of Twelve. His replacement, I'll just rename Pi of 12, because it's a bit unfair to Pi. You know, having his name assigned to someone with these, you know, bad stars. I mean, it's a pity because Iron Lungs is amazing and Melee Skill is amazing, three stars, but... Ultimately, in the long, long, long term, he's not gonna... He's not gonna do it. He'll end up, he'll end up dying with that lack of defense. I mean, I could make him a shield bearer specialist with the flail. 
There's pop heads, but then that doesn't really fit in with what I want to do. Okay, we need tools. So we need loads of tools. Just gotta be careful. Crown's well deserved. A flagellant. Two flagellants. We gotta hire them. But the fact that he's so expensive kind of sucks. Uh, how do you look, Cuny Bert? Resolve. Mm, again, he's also not that good. I mean, like in this situation, he's not a cultist and he doesn't have stats that are good enough to warrant replacing one of the existing guys. So we'll just get rid of him. I mean, we're already in the in the phase where we are just fishing for for, uh, for better better troops. Two stars in range is nice, but he he won't be a decent uh, a decent archer because his starting skill is uh, is too slow. Bloodthirsty is a very cool skill. So this character is prone to excessive violence and cruelty towards his enemies. An opponent isn't good enough dead. His head needs to be on a spike. So all kills are fatalities. That's that's not extra damage. Um, is it extra damage? That just means like if you get the killing blow, you decapitate them, which uh, more severely affects the morale in the area around him. And like on zombies, it means they can't raise up unless being raised by a uh, necromancer. Okay, as much as I want to keep fishing, these are some nice guys to keep fishing with. Uh, I need to save the two thousand gold, so. The, the fishing for better guys can wait just a little bit. Let's do some work here. What you got for us? What's this worth to you? you need to be paid more. I accept. I accept. I just worry that the, the numbers here on the armor are what they should be. Yeah, 87 isn't great. 67. That is no bueno. Oof, 60. Chaser. Oh, the track's waste. Well, I knew this was going to happen uh, when I decided on the parameters of this campaign. So we just got to stick it out, keep grinding missions, keep hiring and firing, and eventually we'll get the guys that, uh, that work for us. Uh, where to put these guys? I think we draw a front line here. Well, let's just wait and see what they do, I suppose. Yeah, they are pretty quick. The Terminator 5. Well, up to 5 already. Wow. The last one I watched was the one with the, with the, the, the blonde female Terminator. It was quite fit. What's good? It's a Terminator movie. Arnold. Always good. It's a Schwarzenegger movie. It's not going to suck. Oh, that sounded painful. Pile of 12. What kind of weapon do you have? A big axe. Get in there. Kazathor, you've got the big sword. So, quick hands. Oh, you missed both, you fucking useless. I had such high hopes for you, Kazathor. Uh, it's up there, yeah. I think we can all agree that uh, Terminator 2 was the best. Amazing film. Loved it. No one's in range. There's too much height difference. Damn it. Shooting again. Also, we need a tier 2 crossbow for our archer. Ouch! God damn. You see, that's what makes fucking... Dagger's so dangerous. Uh, 
Yeah, they didn't like that, did they? <laughs> that freaked everybody the fuck out. Right, pie of 12. Get him. Yes! For of cool. That dude's fleeing. Stop blocking shots, damn it. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will swing my axe in a big circle, but I just need to move of no consequence back. Careful with that crossbow. Friendly fire with the crossbow is a real hazard. Actually, Afric, you can do. Uh, you've got quick hands, but no two handed weapon. It's the first campaign ever where I'm, instead of just instantly selling all these uh, woodcutter's axes, I can actually use them. I'll show you how to use a dagger. Oh, come on. Also, I can't believe we got this great sword this early on. That was very lucky to get that that uh, that event. So being evil paid off in that instance. Nicking that sword from a funeral. To be fair though, he's in the ground. He doesn't need a damn uh, sword. Well, shot. Well, good shot, Jungian. Find you something to believe in. Oh, look no further than Dovkul. Let's see. Tools. Outrageous price. 300 gold. You should... Daylight robbery. You should be ashamed of yourself. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that can go. Oh, look at all this armor. Let's hang on to the gam- or two gambesons, everything else can go. God, it sucks to have to pay so much for tools. Right, duck yours, the raider. Gets a plus three, and a plus three, very nice. And a plus three. It's nine points in total. There was someone here who's a level 3 raider that doesn't actually have... Oh, here you go, it's Leofric. It's pretty cool, we've got uh, three woodcutter's axes in the formation. Uh, Pi of 12, I think I can give him... Yeah, put him in the center of the formation until he heals up. It's a bit safer there for him. Is there a temple here? Nope. Right, let's see if we can't find some zombies that we can stick knives into and take their armor. Nice. So that's actually helping with our renown quite a lot. Up to 800 already. So we're just going to make the push through to 2000 gold now. I mean, having collected 800 renown in 14 days, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. But we have been fairly aggressive with taking our missions and uh, taking as many of the ambitions as we can. Uh, instead of going over the mountains, it's going to take too long. Let's just go over to uh, Firth Veer. See if we can pick up some, some tools. Sets us back. Ugh.
That's cool, Kilo. Good night, buddy. 206, good price, and food's a bit low. God, the money keeps going backwards. Well, we'll keep trying. Actually, Muhul Mine is closer. <laughs> Dove cool being the brother. It's three skulls. What is it? That's a delivery though. Uh, pay me more. A thousand. I accept. Oh, it's an escort. Damn. If it was a delivery, th so three skull delivery missions you can do because you just avoid the fight. Uh, but Nuvik. I need some time to think. Where's Nuvik? It's almost guaranteed that we get. Nah, that's way too difficult. Damn, I was hoping that was a delivery. I'm sorry. Too difficult, homeboy. Well, the search for more cultists continues. We'll just keep bouncing from city to city across the map. Uh... 2,000 gold, yes. Kratar Raider B has always been a bit tight with how much he eats. I'm not sure if it's part of some religious right, a sense of duty, or he's just not a big eater. Regardless, the lack of food has weakened the man and you find him barely able to sit upright. Eat up, fool. He doesn't like it. Oh, God. That's pissed him off. But I do find the negative event from leaving him be is worse because like he, he can fall and get get concussed. If you tell him to eat, he can actually become euphoric and then lose that uh, that Spartan, which I don't mind. None of these I want to hire really. None of them are that good. Okay, what have you got for us? Uh, shipment of doesn't concern you. Watch the caravan. Uh, I don't want to do escort missions. I too don't like it. Kill vagrants. Yes, please. Two skulls. A bit difficult. But hey, we need to become a bit more more bold now. And, and I think we can afford to. Because of the fact that we've got some chain armor. And I think we can repair fully. Okay. Are we fully repaired with all our armor? It looks like we are. And fully healed up as well. Just Pi of 12 doesn't have all of his, uh, his fatigue, which kind of sucks. This mission should be imminently doable. Where are we going? Traveler's Rest. Okay. Good work. Good episode. When we come back onto Traveler's Rest. Drive off brigands. 710 gold. Should be good. <laughs>